Hey sweet friends, my name's Katie Satilli. If you've never been here before, welcome back to another real life stay at home mom cleaning video. I'm so glad that you guys are visiting with me today so that we can clean together. Hit that red subscribe button if you're new here. I would love for you to join this community that we have here on my channel. Click the little bell notification next to the subscribe button so that you can be one of the first ones to watch when my videos go live. I am always in the comments for the first hour, so I'd love to connect with you when it first goes live and then I'd love to be friends over on Instagram I'm just gonna put my handle right here on the screen and I'm always on stories DMS the posts so come over and let's be friends on Instagram Today's video is a collab with Lynn White, who lives in Florida, and she has five kiddos and is married to a pastor just like me. She has such a sweet heart and is always trying to encourage others around her. I just love that about her. She's got awesome cleaning motivation, day in the life videos, grocery hauls, and decor videos. I know you will just absolutely love her just like I do. So go check out her video after you finish this one and let's get back to cleaning. So now I'm just sorting out my laundry. I'm gonna make a pile for the kids, which is in the laundry basket. And then I'm gonna make a pile for my husband and I. And in a second here, I'll just head into my room with my laundry and I'm gonna fold it and put it all away. And then the kids stuff I'm gonna leave for later on. So a lot of this video is going to be picking stuff up and just putting it back where it belongs. I I don't know guys, this, this past week it really got away from me, all the cleaning. Just, I don't know, I planned like a little birthday party for my kids because they turned one and four within three days of each other. And then my husband also had a birthday a couple days before that. And then my sister had a birthday in there as well. So there was just so many birthdays to celebrate and I just got so behind on my cleaning. You'll see when I head downstairs how awful it really was. So right now I'm just gonna be cleaning out my sink and my countertops and getting all of those little stray hairs from my really handsome hubby that he <laughs> does his grooming around my sink. Give this video a thumbs up if your husband grooms around your sink and you have to constantly clean the little tiny hairs.
So I got these shelves here from Walmart and I'm gonna be putting them right there on the wall. I'm gonna be doing that actually in my next video, which is a cook and clean video. I have already filmed it, so if you wanna see how those look on the wall with some products, check that out. And yes, look at my downstairs. It's like a tornado hit, but you know what? We are going to push through and clean this place up. So right here we've got a backpack with a hole in it so I need to replace that and then I had a coffee cup that was almost full of coffee and that is just not okay with me. The coffee needs to be finished, you know, it's important. <laughs> Anyways, um, back here behind this chair, my son who just turned four likes to build little forts and make like little houses. I don't know, he just gets his collections going back here. So this day it was really bad because he had just gotten all these new birthday presents and clothes and everything just got stuffed behind that chair. So I was watching a cleaning video and cleaning up all of the clutter. Here I am just shaking my head because it's just never ending toys, you know? Give this video a thumbs up if you feel like the toys never end. So I got a couple of new throw pillows. The gray ones are from Walmart and then the tan leather ones are from Amazon. I'll try to link those down below. And then the striped ones, where did I get those? TJ Maxx, I think. Um, this is my new book, Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis. It's so far so good. I'm not very far into it, but I did read her first book, Girl Wash Your Face, and I was obsessed. So now I'm just gonna be getting rid of some of the little decorations that I had put up for my sons for their birthday. And this happy birthday banner I thought was so cute. I tried to go with a little Lego theme this year and I got this one off of Amazon. Oh my goodness, I get everything off of Amazon. I need to do an Amazon favorites. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing an Amazon favorites soon. Okay, so Hudson's waking up from his nap, so I gotta take a break. I picked up the living room, but it still looks kind of disastrous, but it's in order, so. Superheroes, toys that I need to find places for because they're all gifts from the boys' birthdays. Clothes, I need to go through and figure out which stuff is new, take tags off, put stuff in laundry, blah, blah, blah. I need to put all these shoes away. That's pretty much it, I need to put that in the garage. All this stuff is cleaned and I will have to get to the kitchen when Sean gets home because I can't clean while Hudson's awake. So if you're new here, I wanted to explain why I have a shoe rack downstairs in my bathroom. 
we do live in a pretty small condo here in Los Angeles and we have three kids in one bedroom so it's easiest for me just to keep all the shoes down in the bedroom I mean in the bathroom and just to keep them all there because then I don't have to lug them up and down stairs and it just leaves it way less messier um, for us so that's why I do that I'm using rubbing alcohol to get rid of all of the writing with like a marker pen that's been on this board for a long time. I usually write prayer requests right here and they kind of just got stuck on there. So I was working on fixing that. And again, I got the itch to switch just like Ashley from Till Vacuum Do Us Part talks about where she switches things around in her house. So I wanted to move this and get that little thing, the little chalkboard and I wanted to put like potatoes and onions in this because it has like a little holder and anything in my house that I can use to kind of make space go vertical or on a wall is just always a good idea if you are low on space. So now I'm just gonna head in and clean this guy off because it's been a hot minute since that thing got cleaned. And now I'm just going to be eating my sausage and veggie meal. I had it on a cook and clean with me and the recipe is linked in it. It's super good and it's Whole30 friendly. I think it's paleo friendly, but it is so good. So now I have Hudson up. He's up from his nap and I was just putting away the Tupperware and now I'm going to be doing the dishes. I actually put him right next to me in his high chair and he was just snacking on some fruit and Cheerios. And there's my husband, Sean grabbing a drink from the refrigerator and I was like uh you're in my video just so you know <laughs> you never know when you're in my house if you're gonna be in a YouTube video so now I'm just scrubbing my pots and pans this is the pioneer woman line and these are mint the color mint um, I do have them linked down in the description I try to keep all of the things that I get asked about a lot like my rug the pots and pans, like different little things that I have around the house, like our bed, um, some of our furniture, different things I got from like Amazon or Wayfair. If I can find the link, I usually have it down in the description. So just in case you're in the market for some new pots and pans. There is seriously nothing better than looking around my house and just seeing everything put away. These were some of my Mother's Day gifts from my kids and I just wanted to leave them out so I could remember how sweet they are and my motivation for what I do. Make sure that you hit the red subscribe button and don't forget to click on some of my fun videos right here that I have linked for you. Have a great day. Bye guys.